Do you need surgery for cartilage damage in your knee? I think that's a really common question. We know that arthritis of the knee or the hip or the shoulder, it's related to breakdown of the articular cartilage. That's the cartilage lining on the ends of the bones. You, you can think of it as, as the white stuff on the end of a chicken bone. That's articular cartilage. And it's what makes the joint uh, motion smooth as the bones uh, rub across each other. So when that cartilage starts to break down, you can get more stress on the underlying bone and you get arthritis changes. So if you start to develop cartilage damage, are there steps you can take to basically fix it before it becomes arthritis? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. And in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I want to address that very question. Is surgery potentially helpful for damage to the articular cartilage? Okay, Maureen asks, Hello Dr. Geyer, my son is 16 years old and has been recently diagnosed with an injury to his articular cartilage in his knee. He plays soccer and basketball for his high school. It's been recommended that he has surgery to repair it if he wants to continue to play sports. He doesn't have any pain, he just says that it feels weird. He's rested it for more than six weeks. Of course, it now feels great, but the doctor recommends that he has the surgery. Is there any sense in just trying physical therapy and to continue to play as long as he doesn't have any pain? Of course, I only want to do what's best for my son. Thank you for any help and advice you can give him. Your information on your blog is very very informative and helpful. Well, Maureen, I really appreciate the, the kind uh, thoughts. I, I really appreciate it. I hope everything I do, both in these videos and all the articles I share on my website, drdavidgeyer.com, is really helpful. But what she asks is a very uh, difficult question because there's not an easy answer. The first point that we need to make, I think this really guides the discussion the rest of the way, is that articular cartilage inside the joint, on the ends of the bones, can't heal itself. You know, even if you do a period of rest where you get on crutches, you don't put any weight on the knee, that cartilage miraculously doesn't regrow. And when we're talking about, you know, injections and, and other treatments, physical therapy, those don't make cartilage heal either. This is honestly the underlying reason that arthritis is a you know, billion, multi-billion dollar, maybe trillion dollar a year industry uh, in the United States and around the world and why joint replacements are so common. We can't reverse articular cartilage damage. Now that's not to say that there aren't surgeries that are potentially available. It really depends on the extent of damage and this is what makes uh, Maureen's question uh, really difficult. We don't know if what her son has is an area where the cartilage cartilage is just thinned or roughened or if it's like a pothole where there's an exposed area of bone where the cartilage is gone or if it's actually an area of uh, bone and cartilage that have sort of broken off what we call osteochondritis desiccans and all of those potentially affect the treatment. But let's just for instance say that you've got a small area where the cartilage is damaged all the way down to bone. This does not apply to arthritis throughout the knee where you have cartilage damage all over the knee but if it's just one small area which is honestly what high school college age kids young adults may often have if they have cartilage damage. There are some things you can do to fill in the damage. You can do what we call a microfracture, where the surgeon takes a small ice pick and pokes these small little holes a few millimeters apart. And the thought with that microfracture is that basically blood flows into the area and then you protect the knee for a while by limiting weight and you do a passive range of motion of the knee and that blood eventually turns into, uh, you know, stem cells grow in and then basically it turns into a form of cartilage we call fibrocartilage. It's not thought to be as good as normal articulation cartilage but it's thought to be better than just having exposed bone so potentially that may be a good option and for a small area maybe a centimeter in diameter maybe just over that in a young athlete uh, good but maybe not great another option if it's small would be to take an area uh, and take a cylinder of bone and cartilage or a couple small cylinders from a non-weight bearing part of the knee and actually put it into the defect it's what we call a mosaic plasty or an osteochondral autograph transfer and that's thought to be good too and there is not uh, that fibrocartilage that's fairly brittle and breaks down over time 
it's actually the normal cartilage. You're just taking it from another spot of the knee. Again, if that's a small injury, uh, area of uh, damage, that may be an option as well. If it's a very big lesion in one particular area, then, you know, especially if it's uh, underlying bone and cartilage, you can actually transfer bone and cartilage, a big cylinder of it, from a donor. I've actually, I'm doing one of those surgeries uh, next week. It's a, called an osteochondral allograft uh, transfer. And you usually do those for a lesion about the size of a quarter. And you can take a cylinder of bone and cartilage from the, the donor. Basically, they send you the end of the femur and you take a cylinder of uh, bone and uh, cartilage and you re-implant it into the defect. That can be helpful as well. You know, there are options where if it's bone and cartilage and you catch it early, sometimes you can fix it with absorbable or metal screws, that's a, uh, an option as well. There are surgeries where you can uh, harvest uh, cartilage from a non-weight bearing part of the knee, send it to a lab, they regrow the cartilage cells, and you can put those cartilage cells uh, into the defect, cover it with a layer of the lining of the bone, what we call periosteum, uh, and that can be helpful. It'll, again, a lot depends on the size of the lesion, how deep the lesion is, is there underlying bone, and things like that. Getting to the other question Maureen asked, you know, can he just try physical therapy and see if it turns out well? It really depends, again, on the extent of the damage. The concern, though, for a young athlete is, you know, is that, you know, if you have an area of exposed bone and you keep pounding on it with running, with jumping, things like that, can that damage spread? And basically, you have more area of exposed bone, more stress on the bone, and then you develop arthritis earlier. You know, I'd love to be able to give her specific advice. I can't really do that in these videos because I haven't seen him and I haven't looked at his x-rays or MRI. But those are the questions worth asking your doctor if you've got a problem with articular cartilage damage. How bad is it? How big is it? How deep is it? You know, are there non-operative options? Again, injections, physical therapy, maybe bracing, maybe activity modification, or would surgery work? And if so, what would the surgery be? Would it be just going in with a scope and smoothing it out if it's not a full thickness damage uh, of cartilage down to bone? Would the microfracture work? Would taking a cylinder of bone and cartilage from your knee work? Would taking it from a donor be helpful? All of these are worthwhile questions. I wish we had an easy answer where we could just try things like stem cells and miraculously your cartilage is new again, but we're still a long way away from that. But I think we're headed there, but obviously the decision you have to make is, what do I do now? Okay, what do you think? Maybe you have articular cartilage damage in your knee or another joint. What did you have done about it? Or what did your doctor or surgeon recommend? I'd love to hear your experiences, and I bet readers and viewers all over the world would love to hear what you have to say as well. So below this video, leave your experience, share your comments. I'd love to read them, and again, I think it would help other viewers as well. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. I record a couple of these videos every single week and you can have them delivered directly to you. And if you know somebody that has articular cartilage damage, please share this video. I hope it could help them as well. And if you like you know, and would care more about all sorts of information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, I create a number of free resources, not just videos, but written content, audio content that I share and I'd love to share directly with you if you subscribe to my email list. So go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, enter your name and your email at the top of the page. I only send you information that's really helpful. Don't send you, you know, a lot of ads and things like that. I try to share information that's really valuable. So definitely sign up and I will deliver that content by email directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you have damage to articular cartilage, I'd love to hear your comments below uh, this video. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time in our next Ask Dr. Geyer video.